All right, I have a new makeup try-on haul here. It's all from Walmart. Some of it's new, some of it's not. I think only one item is a, two items are repurchase. So I got two, four, six, I got eight items in total. Not too bad. So I did get the e.l.f. brow lift. I had this once before. Mr. Claire translucent brow gel. But I bought it during winter. And when I bought it, it was all like cloudy. I suggest going in the store and buying this. So I want to try it again without it being tempered by the temperature. So being frozen and then unfrozen, you know what I mean? So I want to try it again. I can't remember if I liked it or didn't like it. So round two. Also, it's only like five bucks. Not bad. So we're going to try this. Re retry. I should have brought a bag in here with me for a cardboard. And then the Milani um, eyeshadow primer. This I absolutely love. I actually have a lock on this. I didn't realize how much people steal. I mean, growing up, I used to be like, if I can a discount, but who doesn't try that a couple times growing up? Not now, I'm an adult. But this stuff is like a gold mine. But everybody has their circumstances. Who am I to judge? This stuff is gold mine, so we're going to be using this today as her eyeshadow base. It is clear and does dry down. I do have a wipeout. Because I have, I know, I still need some <laughs> to use this Dagon thing, this Hydro Grip, Grip Eye Primer. I watch Batty Bean use it all the time. I keep forgetting to use it. I just need to use it out by itself and not have anything else to use it. Also, this is the fit we're working with today for eye look wise is this beautiful top and flower leggings. Okay, <laughs> that's what we're working with today. Then we have another e.l.f. product. It's the Liquid Metallic Eyeshadow in the shade Aurora. For all the items, all eight items, all together was around 60, 60 bucks. Not bad. Look how cute that is. I am currently into liquid shadows, liners, gemstones, and stuff like that right now. It's the range over here. She is doing a little swatch. And the glitters. Ooh, that's pretty. And I like to use liquid shadows as liners as well. And I just use a liner brush for that. Like this little liner brush right here from It Cosmetics. And I got some more hard candy products. I got their brow pencil, their, what, it's called Brows Now, which built in spoolie, which a lot of brow pencils have, it's in medium brown, because I have medium brows here, let's get her out, hard candy, heckin' slept on, here's what she looks like. she is. I tend to go through brow pencils like no tomorrow. And then I also picked up from Hard Candy their Ultimate Lash Volumizing Mascara in the shade Jet Black. What was the packaging? She's thick. Look at that wand. I personally like this kind of wand. 
my favorite kind of wands. As you can see, I'm not blessed with long lashes. But I also, to combat that, I use mascara primer and then go in with mascara. Also, my Walmart is now carrying the e.l.f. Lash and Roll, which also has the same kind of wand. So if you want to try this now, and I love this, you can pick it up. Yay. I did pick up some more gemstones. They're by Lulu. Because, you know, Walmart has the Christmas stuff out, and they're $2, but look at all the... The gemstones it says there's 50 individual crystals. So that's exciting. Let's see if I can. Because I'm currently still using my ColourPop. Yeah, I'm still using my ColourPop crystals, which has 30. So I'm still using those. Which I need to get more lash glue. I'm using this Tarte Lash Glue, Tardis Pro Lash Glue, which works really well. But, let's see if I can get this little gemstone box open. Now, oh, opened pretty good. Let me show you. This was $2. That's not good at all. Look how nice I have that spread out. I can see them. Very nice. Let's put the sheet in there. I don't need the box. That'd be super easy to store. Perfect. Sorry, that. that's gonna be hard for me to store. And then the last two items I have before we start applying the makeup is I got the two e.l.f. palettes. I got the Nude Rose Gold. They remind me of the uh, Urban Decay palettes. Just cheaper, infinitely cheaper, like $40 cheaper. So, and the packaging feels great. Let's see if I can get the little sticker off. Oh, perfect. Comes off pretty nice. Huh. Hopefully it's got the name. Yeah. Has it in real small, but here it is. Without the sticker on there. Yay. So, I thought that was nice and cute. And then, and the other one I have is the Everyday Smoky I picked up. Which really looks like, oh no, the pull tab didn't work. This is the older packaging, I assume. Which is fine, it all does the same thing. even better than the other one and this is yeah this is just everyday smoky super cute now I can take these off my Alta wish list here because these are the two out of all the ones I had that I had in my little heart list So I'm probably going to use a combination of these two palettes together with the liquid shadow. I'm going to use all these products. Let me make sure I don't lose them. Yeah. So basically all these products I'm going to use together. That's the point of this video. 
to make. And then if you like this video, let me know. And if you want to see individual looks with these palettes, comment below. And we'll see what we can do. And if you're new, new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. So let's go ahead and get our eyes primed with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've been like meaning to pick this up because for a video I want to do, I haven't had the right drugstore primer that I wanted. Let's prime our eyes. Well, at the end of the video, I'll show you what my full face looks like with my hair down. See if this is as good as I remember. So I think we're gonna start off with we're start off with the everyday smoky. Have I ever done a smoky eye? No. That's fine. You don't need to do a smoky eye to use the smoky palette. And I'm going to use this little random I think this elf brush here. From your Cookies and Dreams palette. And we're going to use the last shade in the palette here. I actually haven't bought eyeshadow in a while. That shade is blending out quite well on this eyeshadow primer. Now, I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm just going to leave it on this outer corner here. I'm doing two little layers just to get the depth that I want. I'm going to try to even it on this side. Sometimes I have to pull out a little cookie monster mirror here. I wear everyday glasses, so sometimes it's hard to get my makeup even on both sides. <laughs> it's not too bad. in the shade is not bad at all either.
Okay, that's as close as I'm gonna get that. I see better out of my right eye than I do my left. Okay, so, that didn't have a whole lot of kick up either. Not bad, Elf, not bad. So for now, I think we're gonna go into the Elf. Oh, where's the name of this? Dude Rose Gold. And we're gonna go into, what shade did I wanna go into? I think we're gonna go into this nude shade right here. Yeah, we're gonna go into the nude shade. I'm gonna go all up in here, using the same brush. And I wiped it off of my towel I have over here. Elf is a hit and miss for me. But that is blending pretty good together. that I want to over blend because we don't want it to get muddy. Oh, that's looking beautiful. So now I do want to use this shade right here and go above it because I want to blend it in. So for now, we're going to use a different brush. Let's use, can use this little brush right here. Oh, that's beautiful. That gave it a nice little highlight. I don't think I've ever done this kind of look. I am loving it. That's gorgeous. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? Oh, Elf is doing good things. I don't know why I waited so long to buy Elf. Well, these particular Elf palettes. I'm gonna have to buy some of the ones on Ulta that I have in my love because they have like a more autumn looking one. Get my mirror here. Cool. 
That is gorgeous. That is a beautiful cream white. And I don't really use cream whites like that, but I am gonna have to start doing that more often. Wow. Okay, so now, now the hard part. What kind of shimmer do we wanna put here? Because I have, I know exactly how I wanna use this and how I wanna align here with like the liner part, which you guys will see. Oh, why did I put the gemstones up? <laughs> Get my gemstones out and the lash glue because we're gonna do uh, a black lipstick with this, which is drugstore by the way. We're gonna use the Maybelline uh, Thrill Seeker black lipstick, and I can show you how I apply that too. Okay, am I a professional? No, but I watch a lot of, a lot of Instagram, <laughs> like it's the new Facebook, okay? Like it's the new Facebook over here, and I am in love with it. All right. Remember, you can't go wrong in makeup. You can, but you can't, okay? Because if it works in the end, then you really do it wrong. Ask yourself that. Uh oh. Listen, I've been using makeup for the same makeup for the past two weeks all the way up until now so that's why you haven't seen a uh, shop my stash weekly shop my stash because i've been using the same makeup for the last two weeks and it's been great but you will have a weekly shop my stash coming up and you'll have a one, one coming up after that too i just got lazy <laughs> and didn't do a weekly shop my stash but i've been using my makeup for the last two weeks and i'm loving it Because I will be doing a video with this ColourPop Naruto next. And then I think I'm going to do a Give Me Glow Summer Vibes video too. On the horizon. So, stay tuned. Along with my collection videos. Those are my plans. So now we're using the NYX Glitter Glue. Okay, and we're just going to apply it here. This one is kind of a smoky vibe. I did see Alta is having a pretty big haul, so that's fun. Or not haul, sale. Have a pretty big sale. I was in Walmart, so my money went to their aisle. <laughs> Ta-da! That's where my money went. All right, so that's done. So, oh, shimmer wise, let's do, shoot. So I kind of want to, I'm kind of leaning towards this silver. Right, oh, that looks real pretty. But then I kind of want to do like maybe this. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this silver from the Everyday Smoky and then do this light shimmer right here in the inner corner that's how we're gonna do these palettes today because it's cohesive today it's all coming together no thoughts today I'm whipping it out don't want to use that brush there we go 
Ready to stay Laura Lee L19. I love this brush for shimmers. Like the pants. The pants in these palettes even remind me of the Urban Decay palettes. Apply the shimmer. Get it blending in. Well, it's blending in nicely. That's a nice gun metal. I see lots of future use because I used to have like low wish knockoff versions of the Urban Decay palettes that actually looked like the Urban Decay palettes when I first got in the makeup and used the heck out of them till I couldn't use them no more. You know what I mean? Like, I never had any problems with those, and you couldn't even tell. Like, I didn't know they were knockoffs. And I saw what these dupes remind me of. Definite memories. So I'm gonna get heckin' use out of these palettes. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit into that black, just to hold our shade in, just a little bit, because you don't want to overwork it. And do the same thing to the other side, with this little mirror. coming out so good okay so I do want to or take this little brush again but go into this nude that we use and go just a little bit into the crease just to soften that up If you hear that in the background, that's my heat going. It's cold out there. I ain't about to be freezing here. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's clean this up. Oh yeah, these are blending real good with just a little bit of kick up, but not much. All right. So. That's how I clean up my eyeshadow. I gotta be careful though, so I don't go too far up. <laughs> I do that a lot. But where I work, no one pays attention. Like 
Look at that. That is gorgeous. So let me do my eyeliner off to the side real fast. you're wondering what eyeliner I'm using, it's the Essence Long Lasting, um, yeah, Essence Long Lasting, Lasting, <laughs> 8 Hour Waterproof one, it's in the shade Black Fever. Blue and Moss. So now we're going to use the e.l.f. Liquid Shadow in the shade Aurora as a liner. I'm going to show you how I want to use that, and then we'll use the Nude Rose palette for that shimmer for the inner corner. But I'll do that after I do a full face come back and do our brows because I do my brows last. Because I'll do my gemstones after I do this. So I'm just gonna take Also, I already know this is going to be a long video, so be stay tuned all the way to the end. Viva UFO, okay? So I know you stayed. Appreciate it. Okay, so I just roll my brush around in it. And we're just going to go put this down. Like I'm doing a wing, but not doing a wing. And that's how I'm doing my liner. And then that's where I'm stopping it. And I'm gonna do the other side the same way. And hopefully it comes out as even. And that's pretty because that looks so pretty. just a little bit more shadow on this side. I always get one side looking real good. Practice makes perfect though, so don't ever give up.
it's actually pretty even. Not bad. So we're just gonna leave that be like that because the more you keep messing with it, the more you can fudge her up. Okay. And that's how I use liquid shadows as those liquid liners. And I think it works out great like that. And also to sharpen that up. Boom. See how sharp that looks now? I just cleaned up a little bit of that edge. Gorgeous. Okay, so before we do our lashes, right, we're going to do a gemstone, which, oh, I already had it right here. Because I want to do one right here and one right here. I'm just going to put a dot of glue right there. I'm taking this one. Okay. Perfect. I missed the landing pad the first time. <laughs> I just use my finger and I just think it because I don't have the proper tool yet to apply my crystal. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. This is called using what you have. This is the TARDIS Pro Last Glue, and I tried looking at Ulta to see if they still have it, and they don't, so I will have to buy something else. Let me do this again. Oh, I got it this time on the first try. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. And they're so lined up this time. That's why I have this little mirror. So now, now we got that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's do our mascara. Which we just do the TARDIS Pro. She's almost empty. I have a mirror behind, like in front of me. A big white mirror. I know this is almost used up because I had to dip this twice to do my full lash. This is actually how long it takes me to do my eyeshadow, depending on what I'm doing. And I've been so creative lately. 
that. <laughs> it's been taking this long. Sometimes it takes a little bit less to do my makeup. That just depends on how creative I want to be. And I've been doing liner and gems. And now I'm sharing that with you guys. Now we're gonna use the hard candy volumizing. I'm so excited to use this mascara. This is how you get the false lash effect without using lashes. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, what the shite. Wow. God, only God. No, no. You see that? Hey. I'll flash and roll, move over. I didn't dip back into tube or nothing for the other side. Holy wow. This was like five bucks. Five, five, six dollars, give or take. Imagine what this will do without the mascara primer. Oh wow, this is beautiful. All right, so let me go ahead, do the rest of my face, come back and we'll do brows together. All right, so we're basically almost done here. We're trying everything. So now we're gonna use that one shade from Nude Rose Gold. I'm gonna put it in the inner corners from the Elf palette here, which is this shade. So I'm gonna go in the inner corner. That's super pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love it. And I already applied my black lipstick and lip liner because the video is already long enough. So, yeah. Black lip liner from Jeffree Star and Jay Wardo. And then the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink and Shade Girl Seeker. And gorgeous. Not the best application, but still gorgeous. So let's do our last step in all the products we bought today. And do our brows. Which is the actual last step in my makeup. I do brows last. And we're doing the brow pencil from Hard Candy. And it's brows now medium. That's the brow pencil. I usually just do I lift my brows up. I'm gonna just run through my brows. Cause I already have good brows, so I don't need to shape them. So I just run in the shape of my brows. Just move over to the other brow and do the same thing. So 
So far, this doesn't feel too dry or too creamy. It's just nice. Gorgeous. So I usually do not use the um, spoolies on the end. I just use my own spoolie. So we're just gonna spoolie that out for that part. This is like the quickest part of my makeup process. So now we're gonna use the e.l.f. Browless Brow Gel. Now we're just gonna use this little thing here. I just use this side. And I've seen people just take it and then they just kinda like, just gonna use a little bit and then just take the other little bit. Anyway, that's how I've seen people apply it. It's just like that, which I didn't know that the first time I had it either. And then I'm just gonna take my spoolie and just run that through my brows, just like that. And I'm not gonna give it the feather effect. I'm just using it to give it a good hold. That's exactly what I'm doing a good hold some people are like oh then what's the point of that exactly what I said a good hold you know I've actually seen some people put this down first and then do the feather effect I like how that made my brows look. Hmm. Oh. I put just the right amount in here. I put just a little bit too much right here. That's okay. Let's pull it out. Oh, it looks good now. I spoiled it out. Now you can't tell. That's gorgeous. I love how this turned out. So let's pull the hair all the way down. Since we're done with our look. This is it. This is our finished look. I normally wear my hair down all day. So this is it. I have to get it all floofed out. But yeah. Tell me what do you think? How do we do with our new drugstore makeup? Do you love it? Do you not love it? Did you stay all the way to the end? If you did, drop your UFO. Let me know. What did you recently buy from the drugstore? What was your favorites from this haul? I like this. I think I'm gonna love this. My brows are looking flawless right now. Oh, they feel real nice too. That's even better. Okay. These are a hit. For sure, a hit. Love them. Love. I think this is gonna be a hit too. This is definitely gonna get heck in use. Hard candy is definitely passed up on. Look at them, look at them lashes. 
I recently just bought the last hard candy products too. Hard candy. I can slept on them like look at these last hard candy products I used. Anyway, good haul. Good try on. I think I got a beautiful look. Look at them eyes. It was all eye products, but beautiful. Let me know if you want to see a face product haul. I could probably do that next time. We'll see what's in the budget. This is just what I gravitated towards this time. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.